Noise pollution. Noises unwanted sound. Sound is a form of energy which is emitted by vibrating body and on reaching the ear causes the sensation of hearing through nerves. According to experiments, when the loudness of noises is about 90 decibel, man's visual receptor cell sensitivity decreases rapidly and the reaction time for faint light is lengthened. When the loudness reaches 95 decibel, about 40% of people get mediasis and blurred vision. Sources of noise pollution 1. Road traffic 2. Aircraft 3. Trains 4. Industry or construction work 5. Domestic appliances 6. Adult voices 7. Radio or TV 8. Bells or alarm Effect of noise pollution Noise includes a severe impact on humans and on living organisms. Physiological effects The physiological features like breathing amplitude, blood pressure, heart beat rate, pulse rate, blood cholesterol are affected. Loss of hearing Long exposure to high sound levels cause loss of hearing. Human performance The working performance of workers or humans will be affected as they'll be losing their concentration. Nervous system It causes pain, ringing in the ears, feeling of tiredness, thereby affecting the functioning of human system. Sleeplessness It affects the sleeping thereby inducing the people to become restless and lose concentration and presence of mind during their activities. Damage to material The buildings and materials may get damaged by exposure to infrasonic or ultrasonic waves and even get collapsed. Harm for women's physiological function. Noise can cause abnormal menstruation, abortion, premature delivery and even abnormal embryo. Noises are more harmful for children's body, mind and health than that of adults because their organs are still weak. Control measures The noise pollution can be controlled at the source of generation itself by employing methods like reducing the noise levels from domestic sectors. The domestic noise coming from radio, television sets, mixers, washing machines Cooking operations can be minimized by the selective and judicious operation. Maintenance of automobiles. Regular servicing and tuning of vehicles. Fixing of silencers to automobiles will reduce the noise levels. Low voice speaking. Speaking at low voices enough for communication reduces the excess noise levels. Prohibition on usage of loudspeakers By not permitting the usage of loudspeakers in the habitat zones except for important meetings or functions, 